Hello people, this is the dyno run from yesterday at 686 horsepower. Um, after this run number 16, we went to run number 17 and tried putting another three pound of boost in it just to take it over the 700 horsepower mark fairly easily. Uh, what we got, uh, if I press the number, is this strange graph shape at the bottom. Now I've done it in the gear below which probably didn't help slightly. Um, but instead of getting 600 or 700 horsepower, uh, we're seeing a power figure of 225 horsepower. Now, I just thought my dyno had had a bit of an epi and a fit because this run had some bad misfires on it that have probably jolted the speed sensor. Now, if we go up to the smoothing, which is at the top here, and I adjust the smoothing from 5 to four, watch what happens to the dyno graph. All of a sudden it's raised up to 269 horse, 69 horsepower on smoothing run number four. Now if I go to smoothing run number three, watch what happens again. It's raised up to 339 horsepower. Now I don't understand why this happens in this manner. If I go down to smooth smoothing number two, all of a sudden it's at 453 horsepower. Now you can see the graph shape is all angular and pointed, uh, which again isn't quite right. So obviously the stack has had some kind of hissy fit, um, probably from the wheel jolting on the dyno drum. And if we change again to run number smoothing curve number one, we're now at 582 horsepower. And if we take that to smoothing zero, it's physically showing 709 horsepower. But as you can see, the dyno run isn't anything sensible. It's just ended up all ang angular and pointy rather than a proper, a proper dyno graph. And obviously, if I go back on the smoothing, it disappears back down again. These are some of the problems that you end up fighting in so far as your stack and other software issues when you start putting big horsepower through a bike and then that bike has slight issues insofar as a misfire etc. Thanks for your time.